Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man <laughs> living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these 10 things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. Well, this isn't serious critique, this is comedy. Um, indeed, it's, it's mockery. And so he sets up a caricature which he then makes fun of. The Christian conception of God is not a man in the sky. Um, it's a transcendent, personal creator and designer of the universe who is the locus and source of absolute moral goodness. Um, and the list of 10 things, I take it that that's a reference to the 10 commandments. And it's neither the teaching of Old Testament Judaism nor Christianity that if you break any of the Ten Commandments, God is going to send you to burn in hell uh, and to torture you. Um, rather, what Christianity is like, if I can give an analogy, is that it's like a, a condemned criminal who has been found guilty of a capital crime and sentenced to death and is on death row. And then the governor or the president, out of mercy, bestows upon him the offer of a complete pardon for his crime, which the uh, guilty person is then either free to accept or to reject. Uh, and if he rejects it, then, of course, he will fall back onto the, the just desert of the justice system and the sentence will be carried out. So it's entirely up to us whether or not we want to accept God's loving uh, and gracious pardon for our wrongdoing or whether we choose to reject his love and forgiveness.